What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kiss Her Kicks, back with another flick. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, because it's only going to get lit hey, up in this bit. And today, guys, we have another video for you, and we are going to do the cop or drop for this month of May coming up. I can't believe we're about to go into May already. I don't want to be biased, you know. I have already looked at a lot of the shoes that are coming out for the month of May. Don't. A lot of them are drops for me, personally. But I'm still going to talk about them a little bit. Tell you why I don't really like the shoe and why I'm not about to spend my money on it. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so, first we have the Nike Air Max 95 Del Lo Mio. I'm looking at it. It's a cool shoe. You know, you never, I love Air Max, you know what I'm saying? I actually have not had a pair of Air Max 95 in quite some time, a long time, honestly. I think the last 95 I got was the neon joints. I'm not a big fan of a shoe that's majority white. So, for me, oh yeah, this one's going to definitely be a drop for me. It comes out May 1st. Retail is 180 colorway. It's like a silver. It doesn't do much for me. I don't really like it. I know it pays homage to like Dominican Republic. Next shoe we got coming up, Adidas Night jogger high resolution red 3m these are ugly why i hate that red and silver combo Ugh. Ugh. i don't like it um these are 130 this red the 3m the silver this is not an attractive shoe to me i know they also have another shoe coming out right here we'll look at that this is the one with the metal gray. It, gray. it looks a little better than the red one. It's still going to be a drop for me. Um, also, 130, and those come out on May 1st as well. Next, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low One Miss Multi Snake Skin. Who's designing these shoes? <laughs> Who? I. No. Uh, it's not my style. It's not my style at all. It is somebody saw it there clearly because it has been made. And I mean, I'm looking on here. It says 21, um, 21 once. These also come out May 1st. Retail is 110. I don't like the the, the snake skin with the multi colors and stuff. I don't like it. It's a drop for me. <laughs> all right, let's go. Next shoe we got up is the Nike KD 13 Home Team. Now, I personally would not wear this shoe. Actually, I don't have any KDs. Um, shoes like this, the only shoe that I feel like for as far as like basketball shoes that you can get away with wearing casual, definitely KDs, but not this style of KD. KDs, Kobe's, a couple of the LeBrons, a couple of Kyrie's joints are all right. I really like the Paul George's though. I would definitely wear those. I think I may add one of those to my collection. Um, but these are coming out also May 1st. We have a lot of drops this upcoming Friday. May 1st is Friday, right? May 1st is Friday. Um, we have a lot of drops coming out May 1st. Retail is 160. The thing I don't like about these shoes, what's up with the, the checker, like the lines? It's giving like graph paper tees. Who decided to do that? There's a lot going on with this basic shoe. It's going to be a drop for me. <laughs> Next we have a couple Pumas. We'll pull this one up first. The Puma Future Rider Game on High Risk Red. It's a lot going on. Who decided to come up with that name? It's $80. It's not for me. It comes out May 1st. So do these other ones right here. You have the long ass name with the Amazon Green. And another long name with the dark denim. If I had to get one, I would get the first one. The Rider Game on high risk because of the colors. But that's about it. Um, the retail for these are $80. And it's a drop for me. Let's see. Next we have the Nike Zoom Freak 1 GS Smoke Gray. These are actually his Nike debut shoes. I do know that for a fact. Retail is 100. These come out May 2nd. Congratulations on your your first shoe, but it's a drop for me. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them. Like the the front looks so big, and then like the back is thin. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, those ones look tight. What are those? 
Next year, we have the Nike SB Dunk Mid Griffies. I love the Griffy colors. It's it, it's 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 going to be a drop for me. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice shoe for for people that like to skate. I definitely think I wouldn't wear these casually. It's not my style. Retail for these are one fifteen. Shoe releases May second. It's actually pretty popular. It has a nine hundred and thirty one once for it. I'm just not one of those nine hundred and thirty one. <laughs> people okay what do we have next all right we have air jordan 13 gs aurora green now cool jordan i understand you know i i'm not a fan of this colorway this is very childlike for me to me that's why it's only coming out in gs clearly um if i had a kid a little kid i would cop it for them um for myself no these are coming out may 8th retail is one 40 that can be easily passed for me. These will sit on the shelves for quite some time. Next up, we have the Nike LeBron 17 Up Tempos. Okay, now if I was balling, you know, I was on the court and stuff like that, I would definitely wear these. So I would say I would cop these. Wow, is that my first cop? I'm picky. I'm very picky, but I feel like y'all can relate to me when I say a lot of these are a drop. Please let me know down below. I do like these. They come out May 8th. Retail is 200 Um, Yeah, I would definitely cop these if I was balling them. Not just because uh, these right here are a definite cop for me. Definitely. There are some differences between this shoe and the OG shoe. But, you know, hey, beggars can't be choosers. We have coming up May 9th release the Air Jordan 1 OG Black Game Royal. Now, they kind of did us dirty with this, man, because if you guys know if you're into shoes like that, the Game Royals that came out before, um, the white was black, so was it on the tongue, and back to y'all had some little camera mishaps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, like I was saying about these, kind of did us wrong, but they're definitely a cop for me. Like, I'm trying to get my ones game up, and these are definitely something that I would like to add to my collection. I did not get the court purples, so definitely trying for these. Next shoe we have, the Adidas Yeezy Basketball Quantum. These are retailing for $250. They come out May 15th, and these are a drop for me. Yeezy don't even play basketball, man. On top of that, these are not even cute. These are ugly, but... Because Yeezy made them, of course everybody's like gonna yeah be hyped about this shoe or it's gonna sell out. It's Yeezy. Just like the Travis Scott's, like all of his joints that are coming out are not cute, but it's because of the person. Hey. Next up we have now there are four of these shoes that are coming back, coming out. We have the Air Jordan 4s. They are coming in the metallic colors. Um red, green, purple, and orange. I've said it before, I'm not really a huge fan of all white shoes. So these are definitely going to be a drop for me. But I know that they're going to be a cop for a lot of the people out there. Especially probably the red and the purple ones. Go ahead and take a look at those. Retail is $190 and they come out May 16th. Next up, we have the Nike Kobe Pro Tro Lake. And these for me are definitely or would definitely be a cop. Realistically, I probably won't get them. But... You know, it's a definitely a great way to pay homage to the late and great Kobe. And, you know, they're Kobe's, man. Like, I know that these are going to, these are probably going to sell. They have the Lakers colors, too. Retail is 180 Release date is May 16th. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. Um, I'm interested. Are you going to get them because, you know, because of Kobe? Are you going to get them because you just simply like them? What? Let me know. Let me know some. So, so next up, we have the Air Jordan 11 Low Women's Comfort. Now, I love 11s personally. I do not like the lows. Like, you can just tell that something's missing from them. It's that hot, the high part. These look like they should be on a golf course. They need the little spikes at the bottom. Like, the little patent leather is, like, extra shiny on this joint. They're definitely a drop for me. But good luck to everybody that wants these. Wants these. Like I said, I'm really picky with my shoes. No, I, I, mm, I don't like them, man. I don't like I know a lot of people are probably going to like the, the white, black, and red ones that are coming out, which will be right here. Um, and guys, like I said, yeah, 19,000 people want this shoe. They are retailing for $185. These come out May 23rd. The Concords come out May 22nd. So, nah, they don't do anything for me. They don't do nothing for me. Like, normally if I want a shoe, like, 
when I see it, I got like, it's like a feeling you get. <laughs> It's like a feeling you get, man. I don't know how to explain it. Next up, we have the Nike LeBron 17 Low LeBron James. And, okay, I like LeBrons. If I was on a basketball team, if I was balling, I would I would definitely wear some LeBrons. I think that they're a nice shoe. And I also think that you can wear these casually as well. So, these will definitely be a cop for me. I know these are going to sit for a while. And I know that these are probably going to, you can get these for way cheaper. Right now, they're retailing for $160. The release date is May 23rd. Third. Last but not least, drum rolls, please. <laughs> we have the, this is probably one of the most hyped releases to end off the month of May. We have the Air Jordan 13 Blitz 2020. And I know this is a very popular shoe. I know a lot of people are going to try to get this. Good luck to everyone. Like I said, May 30th retail for adults is $190. In 15,000 months for this right now. Now, me personally, I would die. Okay, for this video, I would say that these are cop. Personally, though, excuse me, I'm not going to cop them because I do already have them. Now, like I was saying, you know, especially in my, my other videos, I'm not trying to, like, get back into a whole bunch of Jordans. Like, so I'm not really trying to go back down that road. I really like a whole bunch of different stuff now. I don't want to limit myself to just the J's. And besides that, I've had these for quite some time. Like, I've had them already. And I think I can clean these up. I may be wishful thinking, y'all. I haven't got the glue out this dr Is that glue? And I also have some rejuvenated, too. I think over the weekend, I'm going to get to work on these. So you guys can see, like, a, a, a before and after pickup. You know how these look with the rejuvenator. Especially because they're getting ready to come out again. Yeah, like I said, good luck to everybody that's trying to get these shoes. I think that wraps up the releases for May. I know time, like things always change. We can have dates get pushed back. We can have, you know, stuff get pushed forward. We can have shock drops, which is a lot going on right now. So definitely look, look out for that. Definitely look out for a shock drop, especially with the last dance coming on. I know they did a shock drop on the Fire Red Fives on the first episode. So be on the lookout. I'm telling y'all now because they are coming um but yeah let me know if you guys like me to keep doing these videos i found this to be pretty entertaining because i already look at shoes like every day anyway so i already had an idea of what's coming up or what's coming out every month but this is just fun for y'all because a lot of y'all don't know so yes make sure y'all stay tuned hey make sure y'all telling everybody to hit that subscribe button because at 250 subscribers i will be giving out a man Alright y'all, so I initially was looking for the releases on Kicks on Fire. I will never use Kicks on Fire again because they made me miss out on a couple of shoes. So these are going to be out of order. Always something. But it's all good. It is what it is. Let's go real quick. I cannot believe I forgot about these ones. The Fire Red Vibes. Like how did I forget? How did I forget? They actually come out this Saturday, May the 2nd. Retail is $200. And I would definitely say these are a cop for me. Now, I know I said the thing about the all-white shoes, you know, majority all-white shoes, but come on, man, the Fire Red 5s, you gotta get the Fire Red 5s. Those joints are sweet. I really want them to come back out with the black and the black and metallic 5s. Like, those are like an absolute need for me. Absolute need for me. Next shoe that's coming out this month that I actually forgot about, Travis Scott, his shoe is actually going to release this month instead, and they are the Travis Scott's. Nike Air Max 270 Reacts. Colorway is a light cream, dark hazel, Mika, green, starfish. Travis Scott, you know, I actually like a couple of his shoes, but I do not like these ones. Look like the color look like somebody yellow teeth. I'm keeping it a stack. It's definitely a drop for me. We have another Yeezy coming out at the end of the month. Yeezy is just like, right? Load, he got the chop loaded. Yeezy is coming out with another 350 boost. This one is called Zion. It's coming out May 30th and the retail for these are 220. These, I don't really like the colorway too much. He's doing like a lot of earth tones if anyone else has noticed. But these are a drop for me. It's a no. It's enough for me, dog. I don't know. Y'all know how I feel about Yeezys already. And these will stay on the shelf for me. Yeah. I think, guys, that concludes it. Comment down below if I missed something that's, like, pretty fire that's coming out. But please, like I say, always say, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because it's only going to get lit. Hey, up in this bitch. <laughs> Peace.
a 